The privilege of a last meal request has been afforded to some of society's worst and most heinous criminals. For better or for worse, here is a list of death row inmates' last meals. If you'd like to see part 1 and part 2 of this series, please check out the description box below. Robert Lee Macy Born in December of 1941, Robert Lee Macy had a rough childhood. His mother was a 15-year-old girl and his father a grown man. According to some reports, Macy had been physically abused and assaulted throughout his childhood. This troubled past affected him greatly as his life was littered with criminal activity. In January of 1965, Macy robbed and shot a man in West Covina, California. After taking the victim's wallet, Macy shot him with the bullet narrowly grazing the man's head. On that same day, he accosted a couple by the name of Morris and Mildred Weiss, as they were driving home in their car. He would shoot and kill Mildred. Approximately a week later, on January 15th, Macy robbed a man by the name of Frank Patty. After demanding Patty's money, Macy asked him to strip. Patty declined to do so and attempted to attack him. However, Macy fired three shots. Two hit the victim's stomach and the third narrowly missed his neck, grazing it instead. Soon after, Macy would be charged and convicted of one count of murder, a count of attempted murder, and four counts of theft, ultimately being sentenced to death. However, Governor Ronald Reagan actually stayed Macy's death sentence so he could testify at the trial of an alleged accomplice. He would once again avoid his death sentence when in 1972, following Furnham v. Georgia, the Supreme Court invalidated all death sentences, and thus Macy's sentence was instead reduced to life in prison. Astonishingly, in 1978, he was granted parole due to his good behaviour. However, he would not stay out of trouble for long, as in early January of 1979, he would rob a San Francisco liquor store, shooting and killing the 61-year-old owner, Boris Naumov. Macy actually fired multiple shots, injuring another store employee in the process. Though he attempted to flee the scene, he was eventually caught and charged with first-degree murder. There were some issues at the trial, however, he was ultimately properly sentenced to death in 1989. In March of 2001, Macy was executed via lethal injection, being pronounced dead at 12.33 a.m. For his last meal, he requested extra crispy french fries, extra crispy oysters, two vanilla milkshakes, and soft drinks. Aaron Mitchell not much is known about the early life of Aaron Mitchell. However, quite a lot is known about his time on death row. Mitchell was convicted of shooting and killing a Sacramento police officer in 1963 during a botched robbery. He was subsequently sentenced to death and was actually the last person to be executed in California, as in 1972, the Supreme Court ruled capital punishment as unconstitutional. Before his scheduled execution, Mitchell was visited by a psychiatrist by the name of Viktor Frankl, a famous doctor and Holocaust survivor. It is alleged that this was Mitchell's attempt to delay his execution. Following this meeting, he would hold a press conference where he would declare, quote, I have made my appeal to God and to the governor. This is my last appeal to man. Forgive me, for I knew not, end quote. The night before his execution, he allegedly ranted all throughout the night and reluctantly exited his cell the following morning, being assisted by a number of guards. He would be executed on April 12, 1967, at the age of 37. His last words were, quote, I am Jesus Christ. For his last meal, Mitchell requested milk, fried chicken, bread, and butter. Stephen Wayne Anderson Stephen Wayne Anderson was born on the 8th of July, 1953, to an emotionally abusive mother and violent alcoholic father. He and his younger brother would be kicked out of the house when Anderson was 14 years old. 
Some years later, his history of crimes would begin when, in 1971, he burglarized a school in New Mexico. He would begin a string of burglaries, being convicted and sentenced a number of times. Anderson was also known to assault and kill other inmates whilst incarcerated. He would also, at one point, admit to murdering six other people as a contract killer. While serving time for these contract killings, he would go on to make an escape attempt. In late May of 1980, Anderson would burglarize the home of an 81-year-old woman by the name of Elizabeth Myman in Bloomington, California. He broke into her home in the middle of the night, and when he found the innocent woman in her room, she screamed. Anderson then horrifically shot her in the face with a 42 caliber handgun. After that, he searched through her house looking for money. He even went as far as making himself a meal in her kitchen. However, a suspicious neighbor would raise the alarm and Anderson was caught. In July of 1981, he would be convicted and sentenced to death. During his time at San Quentin State Prison, Anderson would write poems, plays, and novels. In late January of 2002, he was executed via lethal injection. For his last meal, he requested one pint of cottage cheese, a corn mixture, two grilled cheese sandwiches, a slice of peach pie, and a pint of chocolate chip ice cream. So there you have it the last meal requests of some of society's most heinous criminals. If you'd like to see part four of this video, please let me know. Also, if you have any particular criminals you'd like to see covered, be sure to comment down below. As I said at the beginning of this video, part one and two of this series are linked down below if you'd like to check them out. If you enjoy this kind of content, you can subscribe to keep up to date with all our latest videos. Thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Stay safe and be well. This has been Philo5 Declassified. I'll catch you in the next one.